It was a real treat. I got to work with people like Murray Langston, the unknown comic, Robin Williams, Richard Belzer, Pat Paulson. The list goes on and on. They're just fabulous people. And I remember this person when she first performed. In fact, somehow, and I don't know if it was my parents that had the album or my older sister, but uh, when I was going through the albums when I was around 10 years old, I came across this one album called Knockers Up. It was a gold album. She's one of the most widely respected, and she's the mother of comedy as we know it today. Please welcome the presenter of tonight's Comedy Award, Rusty Warren. Thank you, Joe. I've got the Comedy Award to give tonight. And I told Joe, we've known each other since he was a kid, and I was a chuckle. Did you tell him that? That's too long to forget. But I, I'm retired now, and I said, Joel, I want to present the Comedy Award next time you do your entertainment. And you know, we, this whole town deserves a thank you to Joel Samuels for what he's done for entertainment. And this particular evening, good luck and keep at it, year after year. He's got good ambitions. Now, I know you're waiting for the major comedy of the year, who is the nominees are David Spade, Joey Scarola, Michael Finney, and Dan Horn. And the winner is Michael Finney. Michael Finney, he's upstairs, eating. Say a couple of words. Thanks very, very much. Um, I moved to Phoenix uh, 15 years ago, so Phoenix has been very good to me. Joel has been very good to me, but most of my, um, most of my, my wife has been very good to me. Thank you all very much. Thank you. I want to bring up this point. When I first came to Chuckles to work pro uh, promotions, I ran into Michael and he said, could you do anything with this club? Because it's a beautiful club, you've got great entertainers, but nobody knows about it. I said, I'll do my best. The next time, the next Friday night, there were 500 people in the club. He was performing, and I have yet to hear as much applause for any comedian as I heard for him that night. And he's gone on to do some great things, and I predict he's going to be one of the top names in the country, as big as Eddie Murphy and Roseanne Barr in the next couple of years. And we're privileged to have him living here in Arizona, as well as Rusty Warren. I think they both deserve another round of applause. Yeah, this is a special award for you, Rusty. This is a lifetime achievement and special recognition for your contribution. Oh my goodness. Well, what this means is I lived long enough to receive it. See what age does? You get to that point. But I'm, I'm speechless, I really am. I, I'm, very, I'm very flattered that Arizona has said thank you. It's been so many years. I came out here in 1955 and worked in every bar room in this town. People here that are older certainly know me from those years. And maybe your mothers do or your parents. But I want to say thank you to Arizona. I've loved Arizona for over 35 years. It's been good to me. And I thank you, Joel, and the Arizona Entertainment Commission. Thank you.